Can you drive over that? Yeah, I think we can. It's Stacy on the ridge. kilometer 36. Nobody really gets up here and uh, Stacy's saying that, uh, what are you saying Stacy? How many climber paths are we gonna find? We are not gonna find any climber paths. What? What's all this nasty bush? <laughs> Shouldn't there be like some cows up here with a little bell and a path? Where's, where's the path Stacy? There's no path. Yeah, go Straight ahead. Straight up to the underside of that rock slab, and we made camp. There should be a, a green hill to the right. And the trees are going up quite a bit. Those trees were probably only eight feet high last time. So we're basically at the pass. Nobody comes up here, no climber's paths. So basically, it's bushwhack city no matter where you go. And we're basically heading up that one. Okay, Crazy's telling me that we're gonna run this ridge and that's the way in. So On you, the left hand side of that, that lump there. Yeah, so we're gonna cross over on the left side. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so that's a tree, can you drive over that? Yeah, I think we can. Here we go. Where's your Lexus now? Okay, we're hiding under a tent, it's raining. Uh, this is Canada. Now, I was gonna spend a week in California, and I went for Canada. The weather's too nice in California. <laughs> Beautiful moss. Got a lake to cross. That's Feline Peak. Cat Peak's up and over that ridge. There's Stacy. Gotta cross that baby somehow.
nice little moat here. It packs right down there. There's Stacy. And it looks like the weather's holding. It's about 4.30 or so. Just getting some water. So that's our source right there. And we lucked out getting that. Just a little bit of a shower. Stacy on the ridge. Day two, we went to do cat and we had problems crossing the lake. Uh, plus the distance, uh, it's pretty far. So I uh, ended up uh, turning in early. I got my boots right here. And uh, tomorrow morning we should be able to hopefully do a climb of cat and then head off towards uh, the other peaks. Blue bag, that's my food. And that's water. I've got a little bag with uh, GPS and so on in it. So in the morning, I was sleeping on a climbing rope. In the morning, I uh, should be able to try to get a good early start and go for it. Looks like our destination. That's <coughs> Feline Peak. And then we bivvied here. That's Born back there. Stacy's below. Over there, that's uh, Mount Shrunt. High crossing right there. Stacy's coming. And it came from out yonder. That's Cat Peak. We're getting pretty close. Oh, yeah. Last few steps on Cat Peak.
print. I've got pretty big hands and this is like a pretty good sized animal. One, two, one, two the whole way. Going for that pass right there. And the weather's just barely holding on. So earlier we climbed Cat Peak. Stacy right there. And now we're heading toward Shrunt. Got a little drizzle, now it's snow. Stacy, that's Stacy coming down. This is our view. It's looking over to the lever and Frenchman's cap and a little bit of snow. That's uh, I'm gonna aim for that patch of dirt down there to spend the night. Hopefully, find water. See if I can get a few seconds of video here in the clouds. I think I'm looking at hat. I think that's hat, yeah. Are the clouds moving? Yeah. We're going to head down to the lake. Yeah, our snow prints got filled in. You can see right there, we had maybe four inches or so. That slide happened last night. And we spent the night over there two nights ago. And we're going to head down toward the lake. That's Born Peak in the clouds.
the river we crossed. Is this like rocks in the road or something? Why is it so bumpy? I think I have a flat tire. <laughs> My, those are big trees. Bigger than the ones we saw up there.